Hi Stampers, this is Nancy Gleason from My Stamping Space and I am here today to show you how to use the new classic stamping pad from Stamping Up. So when you first get your pad, it is going to be wrapped in a stretch wrap and there are labels on the back that you'll need to apply yourself and I am going to show you some tips and tricks for applying them. So come with me and I'll show you how to use your new Stamping Up Classic Stampin' Pad. So the first thing that we need to do is to remove this stretch wrap and usually you can find like a little edge there and then just use your scissors and um, kind of snip that off and that will give you a start in place to tear off the plastic so we can get rid of that. Now, when you get your stamping pad, on the back there's actually a label and it has five different labels that you can put on your ink pad. So we have English and then we have a couple of other languages and I really don't know what they are because I really only speak English. I don't know what those other um, languages are. And then there is a solid just a clear one without any writing whatsoever. And this just indicates to pick up this little corner right here. And I am going to pick up the corner, and I want the English one, which stayed down, but that's okay. I'll just pick it up, and I just want to pull this one off. So I'm just taking the English. Now, the stamping pad, when you flip it over, this would be considered the top and this would be the front. So I am going to put my label on the front of my stamping pad. So just like that. So when I have this in my stamping storage, I can see my name. But sometimes, when it's on your desk, you have it turned the other way. So I want to see what's going on there too. So like I said, I don't speak any other languages, but I can use another language and use the label to label the back of my pad. And even though I can't read that, I can figure out that that's gray just by looking at the color of it there. And this is a basic gray. It actually does have the other languages written on front as well. I can kind of figure out that this word grease probably means gray, um, but I have that there. And if nothing else, I can just see the color of it. Now, to open your stamping pad, it's best to kind of hold it in your hand face up with the front of it towards you and you'll see that there's like just a little indent here which is perfect for you to pick up with your thumb and it kind of opens like a makeup compact if you think of it that way you just want to open it and then you can slide it in and now your pad is ready to go now this pad it's basic gray but it kind of looks like it could be any color when it's here. It could be blue, it could be green, who knows what it is. It's really hard to tell what color that is when it's open. So this is my trick. I like to flip it over and get another label. And this time I want to take the one without any writing on it whatsoever, which is going to be harder to do. Since I have the ink pad open, I don't want to put my hand in the other side and get a handful of ink. So, there we go. So we'll get that up. I'll kind of put this back down in place. <clears throat> and now I take this label without any writing and I press it down in this little area right in front and the take your pick tool makes perfect work to kind of just flatten that down in there and now when my ink pad is open on my desk I can see exactly what color 
that is and I don't have to turn it over or try to um, look at the lid so there you go just an easy way to label your ink pads and when you're using them again just think about opening it like a compact you just want to lift it up and then you're going to just slide it in until it locks and then to close it just pull it back out until it's open fully and then just flip it over and make sure you give it a good snap closed so it's nice and tight there's no gaps and you can hear that snap to know that it's closed completely so stampers there you go there's an easy way to assemble your new stamping up classic stamping pans and have them labeled so regardless of whether they're opened closed facing you or facing the other way you'll be able to know just what color your stamp pad is and there won't be any mix-ups on the craft table I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to share this video with your friends. If you haven't done so already, please like me on Facebook as well and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then don't forget about signing up for my mailing list. You can go to my blog at www mystampinspace.com and sign up for my mailing list there where you'll be sure to receive lots of tips and tricks to help you be a better paper crafter. Thanks for stopping by my stampin space. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.